Hey there, this is just a quick video to show you a two-stage DIY water filter I put together. Awesome. Set it up on a cinder block for bigger containers. Also doubles as a cooking stove burner. Alright, here it is making the water and the sandwich at the same time. Looks good. It's pretty self-explanatory. I got the sand and activated carbon water filtration part on the far left. In the middle I've got it heated in a copper coil. A little bit of isopropyl heating that coil. And on the other side the water's coming out. You can see it's clearly boiling. It's racing up to 200. I just have it like that right now so you can see the water coming out. I'm going to go ahead and bend that copper coil downward <laughs> so we don't lose all the water. But you get the idea. thing's almost full. It's only been five minutes and I'm losing at least half right now. You can see nice strong flame. And you just add the water right there. Okay, I got the water at it, I got the fire going. Let's see how long it takes to uh, fill that glass. That's been running about a minute. It's about a third full already. Not losing any water now. Been burning three to four minutes. I got a full jar of water. It's looking good. All right, the first thing I did was I took the two liter bottle cut in half, drilled a quarter inch hole in the bottom, then drop in a couple of cotton balls, kind of pack them in there. Next step is to add the activated carbon. All right, I'm going to go ahead and assemble it now. Pretty easy. Start with the bricks. Like that. Drop the cans up there. Drop a small tin in there to hold the alcohol. Put the copper coil in like this. Turn it over, drop it in the notch. Slide that in there. Line it all up there. Okay. Then you just drop this on, put that on the copper pipe carefully. That's everything. Then just add the alcohol, fire it up, pour in the dirty water. 20 seconds later, clean water. Alright, here it is broken down into the individual pieces. I'll give you some close ups here. Alright, for the first can, the one that holds the activated carbon filter, all I did was remove the label and drill one small hole right here at the bottom. That's it, that's all you have to do.
Then for the second can that holds the copper coil, you cut down the top, take about a third of the circumference off, and cut about two-thirds of the way down. Then I put one small notch there, and a hole about there, but just eyeball those for the coil. All right, to make the copper coil, you just coil it around a small can like this. I use a tomato paste can, but just coil it from top to bottom, push the can out, and leave about a foot on either side. So that's about 8 feet, 9, 10. And you just buy it in a copper coil in a box like that. Notice I added a couple of bricks and pointed the end of the copper tubing down directly into the can so we won't lose hardly any water. And make sure to drill those steam vents so the pressure doesn't build up. Alright, and here's the completed version outside. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Add the alcohol. Just put a little in, you don't need too much. Alright, overfilled it a little bit. But a full glass of water, three to three and a half minutes. I filled this up three or four times. Got almost two quarts of water. Awesome. Perfect. Not sure how well you can see that, but perfectly clean water. There it is. So as far as DIY filters go, this is about the best one I'm going to be able to think of. This thing should take care of pond water, stream water, swamp water, just about any water you can think of. Very simple setup, gravity fed, two-stage water filter. Just a couple quick notes. Don't try using this without the heavy sand, gravel, and activated carbon in there or the water will backflow and it may spray out there. And don't stand in front of that because the water sometimes sprays out. Of course, let that cool for a while before you try to touch it. And that too. That glass will be pretty hot. But there you go. Super simple to do, two-stage ultimate water filter. Here's again what it looks like inside that can. This one. And then the glass collection container. By the way, for an easy way to store this filter when you're not using it, just save the bottom half of the 2 liter bottle you cut in half and drop the filter in. Holds it perfectly.